Meet Jeremy. He's just landed in Japan, armed with a backpack full of enthusiasm and no mobile connection. Here he is, navigating the busy streets of Tokyo, trying to decipher Japanese signposts, all while searching for a SIM card, just so he could get his phone to work. Here's the twist. All this hassle could have been avoided if he'd set up an eSIM before leaving home. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. In this video, we'll cover what eSIMs are and how they work, and also guide you step by step on how to purchase and set up an Eralo eSIM on your iPhone. So what exactly is an eSIM? Well, think of it as a digital SIM card already built into your phone. No more tiny pieces of plastic that you have to swap in and out. Everything happens online. Unfortunately, not all phones can use eSIMs. If you've got a newer iPhone like the XR, XS, or anything newer, you're good to go. And for Android users, many recent models like the Google Pixel 3 and the Samsung Galaxy S20 series also support eSIMs. One key thing to remember, your phone needs to be unlocked to use an eSIM. To check if your phone is locked or unlocked, visit your settings, click General, About, and then scroll down until you see Network Provider Lock. If your iPhone is unlocked, it should say that there's no SIM restrictions. If it says something else, then your phone is locked. If that's the case, you may need to contact your carrier or network to see if they can help unlock your phone. Try your first eSIM. Visit aerolo.com today. Eralo is basically your one-stop shop for eSIMs. They have a They have a ton of plans, including local, regional, and global eSIMs. Local eSIMs are perfect if you're visiting a single country as they give you access to local networks, which means you'll get the best speeds and prices. If your trip includes multiple countries in one region, like touring across Europe, then regional eSIMs would be best for you. As you can see, they cover several countries within a specific area, so you can stay connected across borders. And for jet setters who are constantly on the move, there's the global eSIM. These are great if you're planning a multi-country trip in multiple regions of the world. And with global eSIM, you can choose between Discover, which is data only, and Discover Discover Plus, which is for data, calls, and texts. All right, so first things first, you're going to need the Eralo app. You can download it either by clicking the affiliate link in the description box or by visiting the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Just search for Eralo and click download. Once that's installed, open it up, click login, and then create an account. This is pretty straightforward. Just make sure to follow the prompts and you should be set up in just a few minutes. Once that's done, we can begin navigating the app. The interface is really user-friendly and the language should default to your device language, but in case it's incorrect, you can change it by clicking profile, languages, and selecting from this list. Here you can also contact support. Either click contact us and fill out this form, or click this button and you'll be able to speak to an agent eventually. I tried this method and after doing the AI chatbot dance, I waited roughly 18 minutes to be told I was speaking to a human and 21 minutes to be told that they didn't like donuts. And while their support wasn't immediate, it is apparently available 24 seven. So if you do have any problems, even outside of business hours, you can still contact them. When buying your eSIM, choosing the right plan is crucial. So think about where you're going, how long you'll need it for, and how much data you think you'll require. If you're not sure about data, just think about what you plan to do with your phone while abroad. Using Google Maps to navigate uses very little data, while streaming YouTube videos like this one is a lot more intense. And if this helps, According to Samsung, one gigabyte of data would enable you to spend 20 to 30 minutes a day for a month checking emails, scrolling social media, and browsing the internet. So let's say you're traveling to just one country. On the store section of the app, you would select local eSIMs and type the country you're visiting. For the sake of this video, I'll type France. Here we have a list of available eSIM plans, as well as the data allowance, validity, which is the length of time the eSIM will be active, and the price. Let's say I'm visiting France for two weeks and I just need enough data to navigate, check my emails and use Instagram. For that, two gigabytes should suffice. So I'm just going to select this plan and click buy now. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the available top-up packages that come with the plan. You can purchase these later in case you need them. If you're happy with all of this, select buy and then choose your payment method. One important thing to note here, Eralo's payment currency is in US dollars. So if that's not your native currency, then this will be a foreign transaction and you should ideally try to use a payment method that has no fees and has good exchange rates. In this case, I've chosen to use my Revolut card, which I've topped up with US dollars. 
Now we have our eSIM, we can either activate it immediately or save it for a later date. For those that want to activate it later, whenever you're ready, just visit My eSIMs and tap details on the plan you want to activate, and then you can begin the installation. And in case you plan on having multiple eSIMs, renaming them may help you stay organized. To do that, just click this button in the top right hand corner and rename. Now, before we begin installing, there are just a few important things to remember. Make sure you have a stable internet connection during the installation process. I definitely recommend you try to install the eSIM at home and not in a bomb shelter, and then just activate it later when you arrive at your destination. You should also avoid interrupting the installation process as this can cause an error and your eSIM could be lost. Also, don't delete it. I know this might seem obvious, but because most eSIMs can't be installed twice, it's really important you don't remove it until you're finished with it. To begin the installation, click View Instructions. Here we have three options, Direct, QR Code, and Manual. These are basically in order of ease, with Direct being the easiest and the one I recommend you use it basically does it all for you. QR code is also pretty simple, but you do have to faff around with scanning the code, and manual is a lot trickier as you have to toggle in and out of the app while copying and pasting information. So let's just stick to direct and click install eSIM at the bottom. This is Eralo's step-by-step -step guide, but we can skip through this by clicking next and then install eSIM. Here we just want to press continue and then continue again. Now this part can take a while, for me, it took exactly two minutes. So just wait and resist the urge to use your phone as you need to keep this window open. Once that's done, click continue. Here we can select the default line for calling and sending messages. If you choose primary, you can still receive calls and messages to your phone through your telephone number. I personally keep this as primary so I can still answer phone calls in case there's an emergency or, or something else. But just remember, if you do make or receive a call that's not through data or send a text message, then you'll probably be charged by your network provider. Here you should select primary. That way you can still receive iMessages and FaceTime calls while using the cellular data that comes with your eSIM. And for now on this page, I'm going to just select primary because I'm not going to start using this eSIM yet. But if you were ready to go and you wanted to activate it to start using the data, then you would just select the eSIM from this list, which in this case is personal. Finally, keep allow mobile data switching toggled off. And if you're in the States or somewhere that uses the word cellular instead of mobile, then this may say allow cellular data switching. If this is on and you get a weak signal from your Eralo eSIM, then your phone could still use your home mobile plan, which defeats the whole purpose of getting an eSIM. If we click continue, we should now see that the eSIM has been successfully installed. Now let's imagine we're about to head to our travel destination and it's time to activate our eSIM so it's ready for when we arrive. If you open your settings and click mobile service or cellular, then you'll see beneath SIMs that it says personal. That's the Eralo eSIM. And don't panic if it says on. That doesn't mean the plan has started. It won't actually kick in until you connect to a network at the place you're traveling to. So the first thing we should do is click personal and then rename it to something that's relevant to our trip. Just press mobile plan label and I'm going to call this Eralo France trip. Make sure turn on this line is toggled on. Network selection will be set to automatic but if you toggle this off, you'll then be given the option to select from a specific network at your destination. Now, if I were you, I would leave this set to automatic as it'll choose the one with the best connection. My number only applies to the Discover Plus plans that come with calls and texts, so this doesn't apply to the one I purchased. Mobile data network or cellular data network is worth checking. Here you want to make sure that the APN is filled in. Most plans do this automatically, but in case yours is blank, don't panic, go back to the Eralo app, click view instructions, and then scroll down to APN. Here you'll see some information that you can then copy and paste into these fields. Data mode is useful if you want to be stingy with your data. You could just select low data mode and your phone will reduce its usage by pausing any automatic updates and background tasks. All we need to do now is toggle data roaming on and our Eralo Ralo eSIM is ready to go. Okay, so I forgot. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I forgot to mention this before, but if you wanna be extra careful and make sure you don't use your home network data when you're away, you should go back to settings, click mobile service and find your personal SIM card, which is primary. Click that and then scroll down and where it says data roaming, you. <laughs> I feel like I need to put subtitles underneath this. Um. <laughs> 
All right, so at any point during your trip, you can either track your usage via the Aralo app or add a widget to your phone's home screen. This is definitely a good way to always keep one eye on how much you're using. And if you want to be extra savvy with your data, if you're doing a lot of navigating with Google Maps, you can pre-download areas using Wi-Fi so you can navigate even when offline. To do that, just search for an area, click the name, then the three dots in the corner, and then download offline map. You can then choose a specific area and click download. That should help you save a little extra data when you're out and about. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up as that will help other people find the video. And also please consider using the affiliate link if you'd like to support myself and the channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.